Jesus said unto her, Didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? John chapter 11 verse 40. Our heart is hard. And our ear too is hard. Women are softer when it comes to the things of God. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As for men, when God moves us, we don't move. We are standing there, we are standing there like a body pre. The rock of ages. We don't move. May the Lord soften your husband for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith is not equal to a shaking. Faith is not equal to a falling down. Faith is not equal to a scream. Faith is a substance. Every assembly of wickedness, every gathering of mischief against my welfare, against my well being, against my expectation, let the curse of the Lord. Let the curse of the Lord go there right now. In the name of Jesus, say I release the curse of the Lord against every operation of wickedness, against my life. Let the curse of the Lord strike them now. Let the curse of the Lord strike them now. Perpetrators of evil. Perpetrators of evil. Perpetrators of wickedness, perpetrators of disaster, perpetrators of disgrace against me, against my life, against my future. Right now, let the curse of the Lord strike them now. Let the curse of the Lord strike them now. In the name of Jesus, say right now, I release the blessing of God upon my habitation. I release the blessing of the Lord upon my residence. I release the blessing of the Lord upon my living place. In the mighty name of Jesus, say right now, everywhere I abide, everywhere I stay, everywhere where I shall be found. Let the blessings of the Lord overshadow that place. In the mighty name of Jesus, say wherever I shall be found, let the blessings of the Lord inhabit that place. In the name of Jesus. In Proverbs chapter 10 verse 3, he said, said the Lord will not allow the soul of the righteous to go hungry but you cast away the substance of the wicked substance of the wicked right now Say every uh, substance of the uh, wicked, uh, every material of the wicked, uh, every, every equipment of the wicked, uh, every device of the wicked uh, being used against me uh, in any form at all. Uh, right now, uh, by the word of the Lord, uh, I cast it away. By the word of the Lord, uh, I cast it away. By the word of the Lord, uh, I dismantle it. Say they are dismantled. Say they are dismantled. Say they are dismantled. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated. Amen. Amen. Say the wisdom of God. 
Say the wisdom of God. Nyame nyansa. Even in boxing, the outcome of the battle is not for the one who is only strong. Uh, Apart from strength, you uh, need uh, you need wisdom to uh, be able to knock down your, uh, your uh, op uh, op opponent. So, so in boxing it's not only strength if, if, you, if you go there with only strength you will not, you will not come back alive you need wisdom praise the Lord Hallelujah. so it is dangerous to live with that wisdom it's dangerous with that, to live with that wisdom one, one of the things we have to realize that the outcome of your life is in your own hands nobody is responsible for how your life will end the outcome of your life is not in the hands of anybody. So let's stop blaming people. Am I, am I communicating to somebody at all? When somebody refuses to do what he has to do for you to succeed, you have to do what you have to do for you to succeed. Praise God. So when we understand this secret, say you, you will not blame your boss for, for paying you small salary. I want to mean can't I say I don't think now because you know you are a am I am I talking to somebody here? Because there are some bosses they pay small salaries. But you don't have to say that because they are paying you small salaries, you remain down there. You must think creatively to be able to make something better out of your life in the same situation that others are complaining some people have become great out of that same situation how did it happen? it happened by wisdom say so Holy Spirit give me this wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus lack of wisdom makes people to murmur and to grumble and to complain lack of wisdom but when wisdom is there wisdom will show you the way out wisdom will show you the way out wisdom will give you solution wisdom will prevent you from becoming stagnant wisdom will prevent you from standing behind the wall because when you stand behind the wall and you stand, you stand behind a barrier and you, are, and you are complaining you will remain there forever the wall will not come down. Uh, 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 the one barrier one. will not give you way. Uh, but uh, when you apply wisdom, uh, when you apply wisdom, uh, you will either jump over the wall uh, or you will pass another way uh, and you shall make progress. Uh, Say, Holy Ghost, uh, I need that wisdom. Uh, Say, Holy Ghost, uh, give me that wisdom uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Wisdom is very important. It is lack of wisdom that makes people complain. Lack of wisdom. When you start walking in wisdom, you stop complaining. So when you start walking in wisdom, you stop complaining. You start looking for solutions. You start looking for answers that will enhance your life. That will better your life. You are receiving it in the name of Jesus Christ. I said you are receiving it in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is this scripture I want you to look at in Exodus 28, verse 3. He says, speak to all those who are wise hearted, who, say, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom. That they make the garment of Aaron. Praise the Lord. Mm. For him to minister to me. He said, he said, speak to those who are wise hearted. So, 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 so it takes wisdom for certain directives to come to you. It takes wisdom. 
God will not even speak to people when they refuse to walk in wisdom. God will not speak to them. He said to Moses, speak to the people that are wise hearted. Speak to the people who are wise hearted. He said to Moses, look around. Look into the people. Look, look among the people. Locate the people who are wise hearted. And give them this message. So it's not all messages that are for everybody. There are some messages that will, that will anger some people. There are some people, the messages that will infuriate some people. It is for the wise. It is for the wise. And so God is saying to Moses, this message, this message, this word that I have given to you, this rhema, this word I have given to you, is not for everybody. It is for the wise hearted. May you become the wise hearted. I said, may you become the wise hearted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People that are wise hearted because I have filled them with the spirit of wisdom. I filled them with the spirit of wisdom. So, like I've already told you, wisdom is a spirit that God uses to fill you. Praise God. Amen. So that they will make people who are wise hearted, they make people who are filled with the spirit of God they make they don't find fault they make they make they make so, so, so wisdom makes you a maker wisdom makes you a creator you make things so when you are there you are thinking what can I make next what can I produce next what can I manufacture next wisdom wise people they make things they don't, they don't, they don't wait for things to be made for them they make may you make a solution in the name of Jesus Christ I said may you make an answer in the name of Jesus Christ praise the Lord speak to those people so when God wants things to be made it is the wise people who do the things praise the Lord praise the Lord in Exodus 31 verse 3 Exodus 31 verse 3. He said, I have, he said filled, I have filled him with the spirit of God. In wisdom. In understanding. And in knowledge. And in all manner.
Money is a defense, all right. Wisdom too is a defense. But the defense, the defense of wisdom is superior to the defense of money. Praise the Lord. Mm. Money is a defense. But the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. That's what the Bible said. Praise God. Mm. So wisdom too is a defense. But the defense that wisdom offers is higher than the defense of money. Wisdom gives life to those As who have said, it. You can have money and be eating rough, rough, and what you eat will destroy you. Because you don't have no idea. And you'll be eating chibom like that. Because you have money. But when you have wisdom, you know that in Chibom will make you sick. In Chibom will destroy you. Are, are you understand what I'm saying? And so people have money and they eat uh, all kinds of things and they die before they are because they don't have wisdom. They don't have wisdom. So wisdom is a defense. With that wisdom, you don't have purpose. The subject of wisdom is loaded. I can talk about it. Uh, it's a very, very loaded. How many weeks now have I been talking about wisdom? About three to four weeks now. Yes. So wisdom is a fence around you. Wisdom, when you have wisdom, it's a fence around you. The spirit of wisdom, when it comes into your life, it, it forms a fence you. And as long as there is a fence around you, nobody can, no, no devil can just get up and enter your life just like that. The gate has to be opened before he can enter. Because there is a fence around you by the wisdom of God. God. If he jams the wall, he's a thief. The Bible said that when the thief is caught, he has to restore seven times what he tried to steal. So wisdom will give you security. Wisdom of God will give you security. Wisdom of God will bring you fortification. The wisdom of God will make you resistant to the enemy. The wisdom of God, when you walk with the wisdom of God, it will vindicate you. Wisdom. It will vindicate you. I remember when I was in the account of the headquarters. The law law is that not one person should count offering. Two people must, two or more people can be come in and nipa be free. Say in one day the cashier came. And one uh, that could be no case and, and gave me the key to the safe where all the heavy monies are. No, or ma me safwa na we call be bias kakesi ni na ya kura kura bia ono. He said I should go and take something. I said me ko fa de oho. And the thing that I'm going to take. And I didn't say I'm going to fa no. It's not at where the monies are. Any ni be bias kan o. It's in an earlier office. Eh wo be bia eh wo be bia an so na we do abu ura be bias kan o. So I told I told the cashier that. O ka chire no scan no case kan say. The key to where all the monies are is part of the keys you are giving me. You remove that key. Where the monies are, remove that key and give me, no. give me the key to the only office where you want me to go and take. Eh, give me only that key. Baby, I'll sum up. No, Safwa, no, I won't be. So he removed the key of where the heavy monies and everything. He that one. And the cashier too is my relative. Ah, no, can is can also a muzieni. So after a long time, I went to take the thing for her and everything. After a long time, she went to where the heavy monies were kept and monies were lost. Monies were lost. Euros. 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 Plenty, plenty. No, small, small. Yeah. Plenty euros were lost. Abrofusika plenty no. dollars were lost. Uh, plenty pounds, sterling were lost. No. Plenty yeah. surface were lost. Yeah, no, 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 no. All kinds of monies were lost. Yeah, no, no, no. But I was vindicated. Yeah. Because yeah. that key was not given to me. Yeah. Who would have believed me? The person is my relative. Who would have believed me? The person is my relative. But when it comes to money, 
There is no relative. Am I communicating at all? That day God vindicated wisdom. My, my name couldn't cross anybody's mind. Am I communicating at all? So when you walk in wisdom, it will vindicate you. Wisdom is a weapon. Wisdom is a weapon. Wisdom is a weapon. Wisdom is a weapon. There are many decisions we take that sink our lives. That destroy our lives. Say Because there is no wisdom. There are elders in our lives. There are godly people in our lives. That God will use them to counsel us. So that our life is not destroyed. Am I communicating? I remember. When I was 20 something years, I think 24. I misbehave against my bishop. And my bishop was angry. My bishop was angry. I didn't know how to handle the matter. Then the resident pastor who is an elderly man who is wiser than me. He just said, write a letter of apology. Write a letter of apology. I was confused. I didn't know what to do because my wisdom level was low. It was low. Say, so write a letter of apology. Go so and give to the bishop. So and I wrote a letter of apology. And I put in all the nice vocabularies. And I went to give it to the bishop. The bishop read that thing. And he smiled. He said, You are restored. Wisdom. 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 It's a weapon. A lot of people mess up and destroy everything. One sentence of wisdom from an elderly person, a wise person, will deliver you. You solve the problem. So when God gives you godly people, who respect God, who respect the word of God, don't throw them out of your life. That is what has made many people's life to delay and to be drawn back. Wisdom shall be a wall around you. Wisdom is like a protective system for you. Wisdom is a deterrent measure that deters the enemy and the destroyer. Without wisdom, you have no defense. Without wisdom, you have no defense. Praise the Lord. Amen. With that wisdom, your destiny is under threat. If you don't walk in wisdom, your future shall be wasted. Twenty years we just bet. The wisdom of God shall deliver you in Jesus' name. The wisdom of God shall deliver you in Jesus' name. So when you don't have wisdom, your life and your destiny is in jeopardy. It's a risk. It's a risk to operate with that wisdom. It's a risk. It's a risk. Wisdom will ensure that you are not discouraged. To operate with that wisdom is to endanger your destiny. Is to endanger your destiny. Is to endanger your life. Wisdom. Don't make this move. And before you realize your life is just moving with speed. Your life is moving with speed. Yes, your life is moving to the top. Progress is taking place in your life. People are struggling. Nothing is happening. But because of the wisdom of God, you are seeing results in your life. It is a spirit. It is a spirit. It is a spirit.
to pray. For this spirit. To take over your life. For this spirit to take over your life. For this spirit to take over your life. The wisdom of God. 